These days, more and more users are using social logins to access different websites. So in this section, I'm going to show you how to enable users to log in using their Facebook account. Now, before we get into the mechanics, let me briefly explain the big picture. Facebook and other external authentication providers like Google, Twitter, Microsoft, and so on, use an authentication protocol called OAuth, which stands for Open Authorization. Here's how OAuth works. Let's say John is a new staff member and wants to log into Vidly with his Facebook account. First of all, we need to register our application with Facebook to create some kind of partnership. Facebook will give us an API key and a secret, kind of like a username and password. We'll use this to talk to Facebook under the hood. Now, John wants to log in. When he clicks on Facebook login on our website, we will redirect him to Facebook and we'll use our API key and secret so Facebook knows this request is coming from Vidly. Now, to prevent a malicious user from finding our secret, we use HTTPS or secure HTTP protocol. So the data exchange between these parties will be encrypted and no one can intercept this communication. Okay, now Joe is on Facebook. He logs in with his username and password. On Vidly, we don't know and we don't care what his Facebook credentials are. Once he logs into Facebook, Facebook tells him that Vidly wants to access some basic information about his account. Of course, we could ask for more, like the list of their friends, photos, and etc. But that's beyond the scope of what we're going to do. Now, that aside, the user can authorize Vidly to access this information. Since we registered Vidly with Facebook at the beginning, Facebook knows the address of Vidly. So it will redirect Joe back to Vidly, and it will also pass an authorization token. This authorization token tells Vidly that Facebook could successfully authenticate this user. Now on Vidly, we get this authorization token and send it back to Facebook with our API key and secret. We do this because a hacker may send a random authorization token to Vidly. So we need to verify that it really came from Facebook. That's why we send it back and tell Facebook, hey, it's me, Vidly. Did you really send me this authorization token? Facebook says, yes, I did. And then it will give us an access token. With this access token, we can access some parts of the user's profile. The parts we have permission to access. Now, all these low-level details I told you about, we never have to manually implement them. They're all baked into ASP.NET identity. And using social logins in ASP.NET and MVC is incredibly easy. I told you all this stuff because I wanted you to have a better understanding of how everything works under the hood. And also, if you come across OAuth, you know what it is and how it works. Okay, now let's look at the mechanics. In order to use social logins, there are two steps we need to make. First, we need to enable SSL, so our communication with Facebook will be on a secure channel. And second, we need to register our application with Facebook to get an application ID and a secret. So in the next video, I will show you how to do these steps.